Dulwich begin 2017 with a clash against an old Isthmian League rival in the form of Hendon. Dulwich endured a frustrating afternoon here on Saturday, seemingly running out of steam against Wingate and Finchley as they ended up drawing 1-1. Goalscorer Demibi DeMarco was forced off with a repeat of a quad injury early in the second half and misses out today along with Chris Miller who drops to the bench. Gavin Tomlin returns to the starting eleven after a four-match ban whilst Ibrahim Kargbo also starts. Hendon are well and truly in the midst of a relegation scrap this year with five consecutive league defeats and only two points from their last eight games. The latest loss came on New Year's Eve at Stainstown, going down by the odd goal in five and following that defeat Gary McCann brings in Cuba Gordon and Sam Murphy for Keegan Cole and Andre da Costa. Hendon have already won on this ground this season in the FA Cup. Will history repeat itself or will the host begin 2017 with a victory? McLaren sees that forward. Chambers watch that all the way, cushions it down. Comes with Beanie via Diju. Cargbo shifts it to Beanie. The deflection, Clunis may still get there. Half a block made by Arthur Lee. Clunis will look to get to this pass forward though. Tomlin now, edge of the box. Slips it off for Karut, hit first time, blocked by Gordon. Lee with the throw. Another stone tussling with Stanislaus. It was the Hendon man who looked to wriggle free. Beanie finds Chambers. Recent signing Stanislaus. Start the season with he Worthing. And here's Tomlin at the other end. Shrugs off McLaren. Play goes on because he was impeded, uh, Gavin Tomlin, and chips over. McLaren did try and tug Tomlin back. The assistant had flag. Referee awarded the advantage. Cargbo. Lovely ball forward. Clunas takes it in his stride and he's goal side of Lee. Clunas has the area. Charged down by McLaren. Comes for Cargbo. Hit from distance. Hit with a lot of venom. Always rising though from the defensive midfielder. Just the one goal to his name since arriving in the summer. Beanie. Up for Sakadja. Good first touch. Trying to roll it around McLaren. Seeing Clunas to his right. First touch is in front of him. Ball got stuck under his feet a little but he's still in possession of it. Needs some help. This arrives from Weatherstone. He can take a touch before delivering. Good one. Sakadja's there. Save. Karun the rebound. And bundled over the line in the end. At the third attempt, Dulwich take the lead. Despite the best efforts of Tom Lovelock. And it's Ashley Carew from close range. He wasn't going to miss that uh, second opportunity that went his way. Sixth goal of the season. Weatherstone with the cross. Found Sakadja. His header forced the initial save out of Lovelock. And the goalkeeper, to his credit, made a tremendous second stop as well to deny Carew from close range. But Carew was there just to nod it over the goal line from half a yard. And Dulwich have the lead after 24 minutes. Lovelock sends it long. Stanislaus came to Oli Edi. Stanislaus looking to get on the ball again, though. Cargbo had half a block on it. Lee. Aaron Tumwa, he's not seen him too often so far this afternoon. Stanislaus. Tumwar again. Spreads the play to the far side. Good first touch from Jamie Smith. Allows him to send in the low cross. Oli Yidi, first touch away from Chambers. Gets a shot on goal as well. Off the line by Weatherstone. Edwards punches and it falls to Cargbo and Dulwich clears. Hendon's best chance of the game so far. Well positioned Mark Weatherstone to make the block. Weatherstone. Chambers over the top looking for Tomlin who's onside. Keepers come. Tomlin's forcing wide. Tip wide. Good save from Tom Lovelock. No offside flag again. Jamie Smith. Stanislaus getting there ahead of Drage. Forced a little wide by the Dulwich man. With Murphy now. Oli Yidi. Already seen him turn Chambers once. Rolls it off for Murphy. Back across goal it goes. Edwards didn't get a call from Weatherstone perhaps, didn't gather it cleanly but Clunas was there to clear it. Sharp intake of breath in the crowd but Carew's played a lovely ball forward for Sakadja. No one in the box at the moment, Tomlin's making his way. Sakadja jinx inside, will go for goal himself, that'll deflect. And Lovelock has just about prevented the corner. Cuba Gordon 
away. It's given away by Lee and Clunis has run past him. Now running at McLaren, turned inside of him, slips it off for Sakaja. Good save by Lovelock. Sakaja trying to bend it into the far corner. And Lovelock palms it over the crossbar, but well played. Nyron Clunis intercepted the uh, pass from Lee, went past him, went past McLaren, and teed up Sakaja. Real star performer in that 14 15 side. Hasn't quite hit those heights in the last uh, season and a half. What a pass that is from Carew. Clunis took it down well. Early ball in. Tomlin's there. Couldn't apply the finishing touch. Just missed it completely, it seemed. Sakaja was almost in himself. Lovely football from Dulwich Hamlet. Not rewarded with the end product it deserved. Sakaja wins it off Murphy well. Into Cargbo. With Weatherstone. Cargbo's down. It's worrying for Dulwich. He's back up. Tomlin. Driving forward. He's seen the run of Green. Lovely ball again. It was Chambers last time. This time it's Tomlin who's played the pass to Green. Held up for the moment. Tomlin reverse ball to Carew. Beanie. Tomlin. Sends in the cross. Away by Lee for the time being. Carew drops down. Beanie arrives. Well blocked by Cuba Gordon. Need that killer goal. Oli Edi knocks it down, only gives it to Carew. Dulwich enjoying the majority of possession, certainly since the break. Green, running at Jamie Smith. In full flight, Nathan Green's hard to stop, and he's past Smith. Cuts it back, and arriving was Gavin Tomlin. Puts it over the crossbar. Wraps his foot around it, but couldn't keep it down. Well played Nathan Green in the build-up to create that chance. Here's De Costa, first involvement for him. Good tackle, and Sakaja will give chase, onside. Look across from Jamie Smith. Schedule will run at Smith now. A couple of step overs onto his right foot. Another dummy as well. Shot was blocked. I think it was going wide anyway. Comes up for Beanie. Cargbo. Now Carew. Midfield three linking up there. Weatherstone comes forward to join him. Carew around the corner. Tomlin edge of the area. Holding off McLaren. Who brought him down. And Dulwich have a free kick. About 20 yards out here. Lovelock has set up his wall. It's not Beanie. It is Tomlin. Took a deflection. Comes out for Beanie who strikes it. And in! It's Kenny Beanie at long last! His first goal since the opening day of the season. Took a wicked deflection which took it beyond the reach of Tom Lovelock. Beanie won't mind. And Dulwich do get that second goal. Just past the hour mark. 2-0 now. In the 62nd minute. Well, the free kick from Tomlin was uh, goal bound, it was blocked. Ball came out to the edge of the area for Beanie to strike. It took a deflection, which allowed it to creep into the far corner, past the dive of Lovelock. And the Dulwich captain makes it 2-0. Cargbo, poked on for Sakaja, Cargbo again. Carew, lines up the shot from distance, couple of blocks in there. Tomlin, got a bit pinball-like. Right wide with Carew. Seems to be everywhere at the moment, the Dulles number 10. Radar off there though, couldn't find Cargbo. Diju. Good tackle by Chambers on Oli Edi. Thought he might have gone through the bat, but a fair challenge. Well done, Michael Chambers. Cargbo to Carew. Drop of the shoulder. He will go for goal now. Tipped away by the keeper. Sakaja flying in. Brings down Jamie Smith in the end. Beanie to Cargbo. Back with the Dulwich captain. Sakaja, lovely football again from Dulwich. Quick feet for Uber Sakaja, kept his balance, trying to chip it over the top for Tomlin. McLaren hacks it away. Cargbo, stronger than Stanislaus. Ashley Carew, Gavin Tomlin. Carew once again. And another wall of green trying to block Dulwich off it. Still finds the pass wide for Tomlin. Carew. And comes across, the catcher's there! Brilliant third, and it's not going to count though. Offside flag is up, what a lovely finish by Sakaja. Bini. Sakaja. Bini again. Carew. Tomlin. Those two have linked up really well all afternoon, Carew and Tomlin. 
on the same wavelength for much of the game. Crew gives it away there though, just caught in two minds perhaps what to do with the ball. Stanislaus trying to offer a bit of a release. Playing it down the line, he's got away from Drage for the time being, who's coming back at him. Stanislaus turns inside of Matt Drage, lines up the shot, well blocked. Re Stanislaus again, that deflects as well, and in. Hendon, have hope. It was all his own doing, and out of nothing, Hendon have a lifeline in this game and there's still 20 minutes to play there or thereabouts. Well he beat Drage initially then turned inside him. The first shot he hit was uh, blocked. Rebound fell kindly for him. And Stanislaus managed to uh, turn on the outside with left foot shot. I think it took a deflection. Went in off the far post. And Hendon back in with a shout in this game. It's 2-1. On, Lovely pass. Here goes Sakadja. Again. On for Beanie, floats in the cross, just over the reach of Gavin Tomlin, stretching his neck muscles to get a touch on that. We'll keep it alive with Clunis. Cargbo, Beanie again, wide with Green. Beat De Costa far too easily there. No real challenge from Andre De Costa. In with the cross, great header. Oh. Tomlin heads wide. Going to play the corner short. Ollie Edy gets it from Murphy. Here comes the cross. Headed towards his own goal by Green, I think. Wasn't uh, anywhere near the target in the end. Edwards did well to keep it in play to prevent the corner. He was alert to it and releases Green now. Again, we'll run at Tingi. So it's only Nathan Green. In comes across the Kadja, brought it down reasonably well. Able to turn, and that's over the crossbar. Unlucky. Snapshot from Sakadja. Green charging forward again, found the cross for his teammate. Plucked out the air with his chest. Swivelling. Difficult one to keep down. Weatherstone's flicked that into the path of Oliidi. It's Clunas for company. Use Murphy. Comes across Weatherstone. Heads it away from harm. Cole. Looping one in the air. Chambers gets it away, Cargo helps out, acrobatic. Murphy, reverse ball outside of him. Oliidi, delightful ball in. Chambers might have got a little flick, De Costa's there. Comes out for Cole, away from Beanie, goes for goal. Blocked by Drage. Oh, it wasn't his own man actually. Blocked by a Hendon man in there, Diju. Chambers. Looking for Miller. Well blocked by Chambers. Da Costa. Can come inside. Gets it back from Oliidi. Andre Da Costa, Carl Oliidi again. On for Stanislaus. In comes the cross. What a block by Weatherstone. Oliidi had arrived. Perfect timing. And Weatherstone puts in the block. Green slid in well. Cargbo. Miller. Good pass on Cargbo is on the deck. Beanie for Tomlin. Trying to get away from McLaren. He might have done it this time. Good pace from Tomlin. In comes the early cross to Kadja. I think he might have flicked off his knee in the end. Saved by Lovelock. Tomlin trying to drag McLaren out. Look at Cargbo getting into that penalty area. So Kadja. Miller. Why with Tomlin slowing down the play? Roll of the feet. Beanie. Miller. Shifts it wide again to Tomlin. Kenny Beanie. Chris Miller. Gavin Tomlin. Whips in the cross. The catch looks to get up. Feared only as far as Miller. Lines up the shot. Palmed away by Lovelock. That was travelling. And some speed from Miller. Almost his first Dulwich goal. And Beanie. Weatherstone. Beanie again. Sakadja. Running at the head in defence. Is there a third goal here? 
Oh, that's not far wide. I thought it was going to be a yes to that question. Thought it slipped in the far corner. That must have been inches past the post from Sakadja. Got a minute to go of the 90. That's whatever's added on. Edwards down to field towards Tomlin, who's trying to flick that on in the direction of Clunis. Murphy did enough for a moment. Tomlin gets to the second ball, though. Clunis, lovely drop of the shoulder. Rolls his man, advances play by the referee. Clunis goes for goal. That's a long way wide in the end. Clunis again involved there. Hearts in the mouth. Mickey White, lovely turn. Weather gets the important block in. Drake plays the forward. Here's Morel Williamson. Using his pace up against Tingi in the penalty area. Was off balance and fires wide of the near post. Love lock goes long. It's over Green. Cargo got a little touch. Green does hook it away. Murphy out to Lee. Hooks it forward. Weatherstone, that's a really good clearance. Morel Williamson trying to shrug off Tingi. Miscues his clearance. We'll only find Tomlin. Looking to bend into the far corner, not far wide. And while starting to bend at the last moment. Edwards restarts, and that is the full-time whistle. And after the disappointment of the draw against Wingate and Finchley on Saturday, Dulwich Hamlet returned to winning ways this afternoon by beating Hendon by two goals to one. Ashley Carew gave the host the lead. It was a Mark Weatherstone cross, which was headed goals by Bruce Akadja. Lovelock made a good save in the Hendon goal. Carew followed up. That was saved, and he nodded home from half a yard into the empty net. They had to wait until the second half, just over the hour mark, when Kenny Beanie fired home from uh, outside the penalty area, took a deflection, which helped it beat Tom Lovelock and uh, find the bottom corner. At that stage, it looked like Dulwich might uh, already have enough in them to uh, win the game comfortably. Back Hendon came, though, Reece Stanislaw scoring a goal, which he made himself, driving down the left-hand side, seeing a shot deflect back to him. And uh, he fired in a shot, which took a deflection and went in off the far post. After that, it could have been a bit of a nervy finish, but Dulwich managed to hold on to the win. For Hendon, it's six consecutive defeats and only two points in the last nine games. For Dulwich, it's a vital three points as they continue this uh, push for the playoffs. Final score at the start of 2017 here at Champion Hill is Dulwich Hamlet 2, Hendon 1. So, Gavin, after Saturday's disappointment where we ran out of steam a little bit, was that the perfect response today, do you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I thought our football today was very good. Um, enjoyable to watch. Um, watching it upstairs um, was nice to watch at times. Um, frustrating because, um, again, we create so many chances, um, but very good to watch. Easy on the eye. Very disappointing result on Saturday. I thought we could, should have won that game. Um, I thought today we should have won by more. So, but we're, we're getting chances. We just ain't taking taking them at the moment, but hopefully we will uh, progress on that and start taking the chances. So Gary, that's now six defeats in a row. Disappointing time for you and the club, isn't it? Yeah, it's a difficult period. You know, we uh, we found ourselves in a bit of a hole at the moment. Um, you know, we don't. I mean, there's not an awful lot going for us at present. You know, we've had a lot of difficulties over the season in terms of personnel and you know, and injuries and different such like. We've not been able to get our full quota out on the pitch. Um, lads are giving me everything. I don't think you can question their commitment out there. I think they've uh, they've really put a you know a shift in for me again today and. You know, they've come up short. They, they, you know, they've come up short today. But we take heart out of that performance because, you know, in the last couple of defeats prior to this, we've looked looked like we feel. You know, there's been a look of feeling sorry for ourselves about us, and I, I, that's not what I'm about. It's not what my teams are about. So, I said to the boys today, we're going to stand toe to toe. We're going to give them a, you know, give them the best game we possibly can. And I, and I thought we did that. Um, to lose the game by the odd goal and still be in it right at the death is is credit to our change room with where we're at. I think we uh, mentally were poor on uh, on Saturday, and I think um, <clears throat> even though we had the, the, the majority of the ball, we didn't do very well with it. Um, but today the boys' minds were refreshed, uh, positive, um, and like I say, we probably we deserved a few more goals. One one actually last 30 minutes, we just felt like we weren't really our usual self, but. Obviously today we had a lot more energy, but it's funny because you wouldn't think that you're going to have more energy after having a game like two days back. So yeah, it was great that we got out there, we were sharp. Obviously after the team talk we had before the game, that really got the boys going, so yeah, it was great.
Was it frustrating for yourself being 2 up, seemingly in control, Hendon weren't creating much, to then go and concede in the manner you did because it was pretty much Stanislaus all on his own and he couldn't really have done much more uh, with that without the support of teammates? Yeah, I think it's a um, laziness from Crew. Um, we had very good possession in the other team's half and he um, gave it up very easily and, and didn't really get back, which is uh, not good enough. Um, one lapse really in, in our game, in our play today, and we got punished. And if you think about the amount of chances we create to the opposition and they seem to score a goal, and that's something that we need to correct still. Um, if we're to be successful this year, that's probably our biggest Achilles heel. 2 0 down, heads could have dropped very easily, but a bit of luck with Reese's goal, but he, he made his own luck by, by driving on with the ball, and that got you back into the game, and, li and heads were lifted again. Yeah, and I think we deserve that. I think we had a couple of passages of played it. If we'd have played better, then, you know, we'd have we'd have maybe got a goal earlier. Um, the, the goal was fortunate, but um, you know, as, as a, the old adage in football, you make your own luck, don't you? He's had a he's had a shot that's taken a lucky deflection, and it's uh, it's ended up in the net. You could say the same about Beanie's goal for them. I mean, his shit looks like the shot's going wide to me. Uh, comes off his heel and ends up in the back of the net. It's you know, it's there's a bit of fortune about that one, but uh, we know we've had to. We've had to defend with resilience. I know our goalkeepers had to put in a fine display as well. So we know we've stayed in the game by some big performances individually and collectively. But Gavin was fresh as well, wasn't he? He had that four game ban, might have done him good with his, He had obviously a little uh, injury as well. Yeah, he's been nursing an injury for a long time. So obviously um, it gave him a bit of chance to strengthen it up. Um, he played to his level today. Gavin's a. Uh, He's not. This isn't his level, you know. Um, so <clears throat> he played to his level, and when he does, then you know you can see that he's, he's quite clear, clearly a very good player. Nice to see Kenny Beanie get on the score sheet because I know he's been trying for a few weeks, and I know you want the goals from your midfielders. Ash obviously scores a few, and so does Niren, but you want more from the likes of Cargbo and Beanie. Yeah, definitely. Um, Kenny strikes all well off both feet, right foot and left foot. Probably should score more goals, um, but we got a fair few games left, and I'm pretty sure he'll start weighing in with a few more. Yourself, it's been a long time coming that second goal of the season. You must be pretty delighted with uh, how you struck it. Yeah, yeah, you know, over the moon to be honest, because I've been, it's been on my mind, you know, trying to get a goal, especially at home. So uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm off the mark at home. Do you set yourself a target for goals? I know you're quite a defensive midfielder kind of player, but do you set yourself a target of maybe five or six for the season? Yeah, yeah five or six for the season usually is, is a, a good target for myself. Man for man, you really matched them over the park throughout the game. Yeah, I thought we did. Um, I, you know, I know Gav will tell you that their home form's not been as good as they would uh, like it to be, and we felt we could, you know, we could try and expose that. But um, I've always got the utmost respect for Gav team, and you know, you need to be at your best to get something out of the game. I mean, we, you know, we obviously uh, turned them over earlier in the season in the FA Cup, so you know, we we, we took confidence from that. Um, but you know, it's um, we've got. Uh, a run of games coming up now where we've got to start getting some points on the board it's uh, it's been a really difficult period we've got bodies back hopefully to us very uh, soon in Elliot Braithwaite and Kevin McLaren and maybe Chris Seabee with maybe one or two additions to that as well I, I don't think we're going to be too far away when you look at the type of display we've put together today Offside flag denied you a perfectly good goal today didn't it? Ah, oh, listen honestly I don't know what Mark could have done to get a goal today but just one of those ones that try everything doesn't go in, but we want to the next game. Hopefully, I get a few more in the next few games. I say, obviously, you started pretty well with your goal scoring here. It's been a bit of a barren spell recently. You must be itching to get back on the score sheet. I couldn't tell you what's gone wrong, or <laughs> but I'm just trying. Obviously, I'm doing a lot of work, like away from the training ground, and I'm like, trying to get back to scoring ways. So I'm confident I'll be back scoring goals. So it's just on, it's only a matter of time. Next weekend's game home to Merson, who again down the bottom there becomes a six pointer, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I think in, in any of the games that we're playing against a team that are in direct competition with us, we've got to be looking at them at six pointers. And you know, our home form is something that's been coming a, a, a nemesis to us, and we've got to overcome that very, very quickly. Um, we've got, I think, more home games than we have away games left, so it'd be important that we do build up ahead of steam in terms of getting some points on the board at home. And you know, no better time than Saturday on the back of that performance. Over the Christmas period, you say, including the Tumbridge game, that's 10 points from five games. How do you assess how that busy period has gone for us? It's OK. I would have preferred 15. Um, and I think we could have won all as well, to be honest with you. So um, it's OK. Um, I think we're going to need some really good form now. Um, more wins. Uh, going on a nice little run and then see how we go from there.